Procrastination or creative breathing room? Are you procrastinating or are you feeding your mind? Welcome to Creativity Made Simple, your daily tips and exercises to inspire your imagination, to ditch fear and judgment, and to make more art. Procrastination versus creative breathing room. Good question, right? Are you procrastinating about making art or are you giving yourself space? This came up this morning as I am supposed to be framing a work right now for a client, I'm popping it into a frame, choosing the frame, and which is not something I usually do, by the way, I don't do that. Um, I'm just doing it this one time. Um, and, and I'm cleaning my kitchen. <laughs> I am scrubbing my kitchen. My um, housekeeper could be doing it, but I am feeling like doing it. So I am scrubbing away. And um, I just, as I was washing the, you know, taking the stove apart and, and bleaching it, you know, cleaning everything, disinfecting everything, I thought, oh, you need to really go do that. You need to go work on that piece and let her do it. And, and I just thought about it for a second. And something that I absolutely have come to find for myself is that sometimes I just need to, I love my little dog here. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. Um, Sometimes the physical activity, for example, for me, for cleaning, clears my mind. It actually creates more um, creative space for me to do better work. And so what I know is long ago, I gifted myself, actually the very first thing I got for myself was a housekeeper. Um, Cause there's nothing like having beautiful elves clean while you're away and walking in and like, oh, it's like the shoemaker's elves, right? Um, I love my ladies. Anyway, um, but sometimes I just need to do that. I just need to take a diversion. And I actually think it's almost a meditative process that I need to have to clear my mind so I make better decisions creatively. So some people might call it procrastinating in their own lives. I absolutely know it is not procrastinating. Actually, it will probably speed up the creative time for me because in a way it clears a space. Um, so I want you to ask yourself as your exercise today, to contemplate if you're really procrastinating or are you allowing the tides to flow? There's an ebb and flow to creativity. I once had uh, a significant other in my life who would say, you have to be in the studio every day, working, working, working. And that was a good impression of him, wasn't it? For those who know, ah, know him. <laughs> um, and, um, and that's actually not true. Some days you need to just take a break. Some days you just need to ebb and flow with your creativity and it'll explode. So our, um, Julia Cameron talks about the artist way and how you have to do artist dates, which you must do. You must muse your mind by just stepping into stores with designs you like or, um, not necessarily going and buying things, just feeding that beautiful aesthetic mind of yours. So for me right now, taking my stove apart, my, um, my everything apart and cleaning it is giving me space so that when I turn to um, work on this piece, this it's a beautiful charcoal nude that I'm, I'm putting in a frame. Um, I'll be freer somehow creatively. So give me your comments, give me your thoughts, and don't forget to go to firestoneart.com and um, check out our courses and stuff and, and join the community, like be a part, okay? So mwah. procrastination or are you giving yourself creative space? Let me know in the comments below.
Bye.